Because <laughs> baby, because baby, if that was a hot mess, that was a hot mess. Thank you, Karma. Karma uh, girl, let me know I'm coming through loud and clear in the chat. I, I don't even know why I'm going to ask, but I'm going to ask it. Anyway, did you see this epic fail of an interview that Martel Holt and Tasha Kay, Lord have mercy, rolled out on yesterday? Lord have, have see, listen, okay, maybe, maybe, okay, if you didn't see it, maybe there's some itchy and scratchy. That's what I'm a uh, $2 Tasha. That's what I, $2, Tasha K, you didn't earn that name, $2 Tasha, because they say you will do anything strange for a piece of change. So I'm going to start calling you $2 Tasha. That is nothing personal. It's Tasha K. Really? Are you kidding me? Is money that tight? Tasha, that was an epic fail. $2 Tasha, let Martel Holt come on her platform and verbally annihilate and assassinate and created this false narrative smear campaign. Y'all, even he knew he was lying. Hell, even he knew he was lying. And I sat there and I clutched my pearls, $2 Tasha, baby. And I damn near broke my pearls. I was in, I was completely baffled. See, Martel gone Martel because the narc gone narc. But a content creator, Tasha, even you couldn't reel that demon in. But let's talk about it. For those of you who are just tuned in or if you're new to the channel, welcome to the palace. I am Queen Sheba. I cover a variety of hot topics specific to reality television, but most importantly, I hone in on the psychological and the behavioral traits of the Black experience. And that's what we're going to talk about from a psychological and the behavioral health perspective, okay? I'm going to run down my take, and then I am going to open up the lines for you all to come on in, to come on in. And let me tell you, I'm feeling a little bit under the weather, but I told myself, no, we're going we gonna to talk about this. We're going to talk about it because Black folks, we got to talk. Martel is running amok in the palace, but he went in my palace. He was in $2 Tasha's house, honey. Listen, Martel is one sick puppy. The domestic violence, harassing communications, they're not going to stop. I bet you my bottom dollar. I wrote my, I wrote down my notes last night. I said, oh, honey, this isn't going to stop. And I be damned. It was just, it was just announced today that they did not stop because what happens today? They're saying that he allegedly docks to Melody by releasing her private bank information, her private address to her resident where her kids reside. So when we talk about the psychological and the behavioral traits, that's what I'm talking about. The cuckoo-ness of it all. One sick puppy. How dare you release your children's home address where any sicko that's depraved, it ain't even about Melody at this point because you have people on the internet that likes kids. Do y'all see what I'm talking about that like kids? And, and little black kids come up missing all the time. And own network, ooh, if you don't step in, come on now. I'm going to get to that in a minute. But I believe Martel is capable of bothering Melody for the rest of her life. Make it make sense, y'all. You have a woman now, sir. According to you, Arion is your woman. Well, you have a woman now, but you steady worried about this one over here. And the sad thing is no one in that network seems to notice that they've created a monster. And they have given this man free reign to harass this woman on national television. And they continue to pay him for it. So he's profited off of becoming a predator, in my opinion, from the psychological and the behavioral traits perspective. He is a predator, in my opinion. And I told you a couple, and I, listen, I'm going there. I'm going there. Lock his ass up. You're going to jail. You're going to jail. Martel is his own worst enemy because enough is just not enough. You could have set your black ass down after doing that interview, but then you go and release and dox her like that. Now, come on, y'all. Whether you like Melody or not, can we all agree? That anybody releasing your address where your children lay their head, your nieces, your nephew lay their head, enough is enough. Can we all agree on that on a human level? Let's, let's just take the show out and let's just talk about a little bit of integrity, humanity, 
And just black folks holding it down and say, hold up, bro. <laughs> you doing too much now. Because you, you, <laughs> we're about to, well, we've been snatched his black card. I did a long time ago. Enough is enough. And I feel like on network, you are, you have profited. You have paid this man to become a predator. And this is your monster. Because I feel like Carlos King, you should have cut him a long time ago when he put his hands on that male makeup artist. When he committed physical, physical assault because he is violent. And Tasha K, that's why I constantly, $2 Tasha, that's why I constantly shake my head at you and look at you sideways because you was the first one to run to the internet and defend him and said, oh, when I saw domestic violence against Martel, this just don't sound right. Girl, you better ask somebody. You better ask the staff of OWN Network. You better ask Jay Taylor Makeup, the makeup artist that was on set. You better ask the other makeup artist that he pushed to the floor. You better, you better ask Arion. You better ask Arion because she confided in original straight note chaser that Martel not only abused her, but he also has abused Melody before. Let's talk about it. I'm not going to play with you tonight, Tasha. I'm not going to play with you because he is very well capable of being physically violent, not only with women, but with children. OK, yeah, I'm talking about it. I'm going there tonight because he went there. So I'm just going to follow his lead. I'm going to build my argument off his coattail. He's not only capable, Tasha, of being physically aggressive with women. He's done it with his wife. I'll bet my bottom dollar. And, and I know you put a clip on there. But see, most wives and most good women that do have a lot to lose and they, they want to protect their children, I would say no, too. I would say no, too, because that's what most women do. When they and some men too, let's talk about men. Let's talk about men, right? Because they don't want to see their significant other or their children's lives change. Girl, we got pictures of his arms toe up from the flow up with coleslaw. I, I, I'm gonna say, girl, was you fighting for your life? Because she got her licks in, she got her scratches in. And I wish you would rebuttal against it, Martel, because in my opinion, you and coleslaw had a knockout, right, drag out. Uh, uh, altercation that night when it was alleged that she went to jail with her. And I know on original Straight No Chasers channel, she said, nay, nay. They saying we went to jail, but where's the records? Okay. Because it's being alleged that you weren't officially booked, sweetheart. Because they did y'all a favor and let you cool off. And they gave you a cooling off period. And then he came home. And I heard you say, and Tasha, I'm, I'm, see Tasha over here in the palace, they already up to speed on everything that's going on. You not. You stood 10 toes down for a nigga that's not even your husband. $2 Tasha. Okay. That's not, and said he's not capable. Yes, he is. Because the girl is on audio saying, I didn't want to go live, but he made me go live. I'm going to leave that there. Martel Hope should have been gone like yesterday from the own network. It was a very tense interview. It was one of the tensest interviews ever I've ever seen. It was extremely uncomfortable. Tasha, 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 $2 Tasha. Baby, if you aren't careful, your insatiable appetite for glory is going to be your downfall. Ain't no way in hell you should entertain that demon. And a lot of people feel like they can reel Martel in. You cannot. I'll be the first one to tell you I've interviewed him before. And when I tell you that is a wild, wild demon that's going to do whatever he wants to do, no one can tell him what to do. And it's not because you're not good and da-da-da-da. No one can tell him what to do, which is why I said he's one sick puppy, okay? Sometimes we're often given over to our own desires. And I bet, Tasha, if you told the truth, if you was to really tell the truth, girl, you probably say you did not enjoy this interview, not one bit. And that demon wore you the hell out. I bet you, I bet you was tired like a fuck when you woke up after that. I bet you was tired. I bet you drank a whole bottle, a whole bottle of Boone's form. I bet you drank a whole bottle, $2 Tasha. I bet you went and got that $2 wine that Martel had, and baby, you had to sit up on your couch and ask your husband to lay his praying hands over you and just pray for you. I bet y'all had to do an exorcism. 
if you had to tell the truth, I probably bet you would say that's that that was probably one of your worst interviews ever. Tasha K, y'all, $2 Tasha gave Martel Holt a platform to verbally attack and make salacious statements about his ex-wife. That was simply not true. He pretty, so he accused, he pretty much accused her of being a prostitute. See, I'm going to talk about the psychological and the behavioral stuff that I didn't hear nobody else speak on. I go in and grab what I'm like, oh, damn, they missed this. They missed that. Listen, follow me closely. And then I'm going to bring y'all up. I want to call out a few items. Number one, he pretty much accused Melody Sheree of being a prostitute slash escort that gets flued out. Follow me very close for my beautiful seniors that are tapped in tonight. And, and you may not be privy to the new age lingo. Let me tell you what that meant when you get flued out. That's when a woman advertises herself on social media under the guise of being an Instagram model. And then the men, the wealthy men, typically they're supposed to be wealthy, the, 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 the athletes, the rap stars, the, the Middle Eastern men, you know, they're going to pay you. It's like ordering your steak. And they're going to tell you everything they want on that steak, whether it's to piss on you, poop on you, tie you up, what size your booty got to be, and they're going to flew you out. I know, I know how to speak, but that's what it means to get flued out, okay? And then what happens with these girls is they're, they are flued out to these exotic places and they take these pictures on vacation and there's no one around because technically they're escorting themselves out. They're escorting themselves out to the highest bidder, okay? Because they've been propositioned for their services. And Martel Holt sat his black ass in that seat and looked in the camera and, and insinuated that's what Mel is doing. And that's the reason we haven't seen her in photos with her man or, or whomever she's dating. He sure did. That's a huge insinuation. That's why I said he sat there and said things that were not true or gave impression to things that were not true and created such a negative tone. And you let him go. Because at the end of the day, content creators, you're still responsible for your platform. Now, I'm not trying to tell $2 Tasha how to run her kingdom. But I'm just saying, at least establish a little bit of order so that when you come out, people trust you. Because you see, we recycle these people. People got to be able to trust that if they F with you, if they fuck with you like that, you're going to take care of them in the long run. That if somebody else comes behind them, Tasha, $2 Tasha got enough sense to not let him dog me out. Well, you know that. You know that lady ain't flying out and get flued out like that. Okay. Number two, after this interview. Let me, let me okay, let me, let me get my thoughts together. This was a horrible interview. I said that because now. After this interview, what I this is the second point. After this interview, this horrible interview, what I walked away with is wow, this man does not appear. Listen to me very closely. This man does not appear to like his youngest daughter and his oldest son. I'll give a little bit more detail in a few moments. The third thing is he oozes jealousy and, and an envious spirit since he was a child. If you listen to him carefully, he laid out to you all that he engaged in sibling rivalry with his brother. Now, make, that's why it makes sense why this dark behavior transferred over to his marriage. And with all due respect, Melody, you should have listened to Ms. Van. And that's Melody's mother, for those of you that are not up to speed on who Ms. Van is. Ms. Van did not want Melody to marry Martell. Because Martel proposed to Melody Cherie on her graduation day, graduating from college. Why is that a bad thing? Because when you have a graduation party, that's already paid for by family members. So he walked his tired, dusty ass in there and proposed on somebody else's dime. He didn't have to do nothing. He didn't have to call people and say, do y'all mind? Da -da 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 -da. He walked in there and ate for free off of her achievements, off of her accomplishments, and off of the financial investments that her mother had poured into her. Didn't make no type of investment. Just walked his ass in there, and I'm going to give you a little bit more about why I believe he proposed on her big day. So he's been jealous, and he's, he's had a competitive spirit since he was a child, okay? Melody, you never had a chance with him, with all due respect. 
We also discovered point number four, that he's physical. He's, he's physically abusive to his oldest son by his own admission. Who in the hell hits their kids and then say on the 25th strike, that's when he cried or that's when I broke the skin with the back scratcher. See, Martell, if you're going to tell her, you got to tell her. You didn't spank him. You whacked him on his head with the back scratcher and you, you broke the skin and you caused him to be injured. That's what happened. And then you, in my opinion, teed him up. You didn't call his mother, but you told Tasha that Melody should have called you. No, if you whack a child on the head with a foreign object, that is not a spanking because now you have introduced a weapon, in my opinion. A spanking is a spanking. Unless some of y'all pick up shit and knock your kids over your head. Because I've heard a lot of you say, well, I spank mine. I hope you don't, you're not whacking your kids in their cerebral with hard objects. That's a complete and total difference. If we're going to call it, we got to call it. The only reason why I'm talking about it, because he talked about it. But I'm just clearing the air. You hit him in the head on the 25th time, the 25th strike. Because Tasha did ask him who was counting. And she let him slide. And he overtalked her. She said, who was counting? That was an excellent question. Who was counting? How do you know that it took 25 lashes to, final, to finally break the skin, okay? If anything, Martel Ho shot himself in the foot because now everybody in America knows that you're a calculated monster. And no one has stopped this man. No one has placed any boundaries in place so that he doesn't continue to go as far as he has. Y'all, this man went as low as smearing the image of a little girl in order to substantiate his insecurities and his hate. I hope, I hope y'all know what I'm talking about. You smeared the image of that little beautiful girl and create a negative around her existence here on this earth to substantiate your insecurities, your lack of morale, your weak masculinity by insinuating that that little girl may or may not have been legitimately yours. That is disgusting. And that's why I'm, I'm coming down on him the way that I am. Why would you go after your own kid, sir? Especially an innocent, beautiful child. That came out of your mouth, nigga. And if you got a problem with it, then you go have a talk with yourself in the mirror. That's on you. But I'm repeating it back to you. See, in psychology, they say repeat things back to people so they can know how damn crazy they sound and look. Start repeating shit back to people. So you're saying that or insinuating that this child is not yours because she looks like her beautiful mother. Oh, so is that your attempt to illegitimize her so that you can legitimize your son that you had outside your marriage? And I don't know if y'all caught it or not, but every time he talked about son, he was referring to the other child outside of his marriage. Martel doesn't have a son. He has two sons. Did anybody catch that? Did anybody catch that he did not refer to Tank as his son at all? Only when he was describing the negative event and the physical violence that he inflicted on Tank. Other than that, when he says, and he's like, he's such a good boy, my son. No, you have sons. You have two sons. And I'm just going over things that I felt like maybe people didn't call out or may not have caught. And if you did as a content creator, my apologies. Okay. Now, <clears throat> let me, let me go back to something. I, the, when he, when he slandered that little girl's paternity, I, I, I was cursing at the television. And then, and then and in that moment, I said, here's Johnny. <laughs> you know, what is it called? That movie, y'all? Red Rom, Red, The Shining. And I said, here's Johnny. Baby, front and center, a real life demon sitting right before us. That man needs help. He needs professional help. I'm not trying to be shady. Um, he had Tasha K squirming in her seat. Sasha K, you knew that energy was off and you knew that energy wasn't right. And people swear they can interview him. No, you can't. Something's off about him. I'm telling you, he possesses an undeniable dark energy and he will thwart any attempts to be cordial, kind, exhibit self-control or even humanity or just being humane. He don't want you to try to pull that out of him. And as soon as you do, he's going to go against you. OK, I'm just giving you I'm just giving you a warning. 
At one point, Tasha K asked him if he wanted more wine, because in her words, he's like, she's like, damn, have another glass of wine because you being defensive, Martel. And this is why people don't like you because they don't see the human side of you. Basically, what she was saying, nigga, is you are a monster. You're a monster. <laughs> and you may want to have a glass of wine because you're not too, you're not doing too good in this interview. Let me tell you about this interview. This was a get back interview. He's mad and dangerous right now. You know that song by Armed and Dangerous? Can't too many bang with us. And some, some, some. He's armed and dangerous right now. Y'all think, and I don't mean like armed and dangerous with mental, mental concepts of how can I get my lick back? She sent me to jail. You see how he took no accountability for what he did and how he threatened her with that revenge pee? Own network, what are you doing? Are you waiting for something catastrophic to happen before you let him go? What do you got on you, Carlos, that you're having to turn a blind eye to his antics? Or have you trauma bonded with Martel? That's my other question. Martel Holt, in my opinion, is a ticking time bomb, and he's exploded again and again and again and again, and everyone seems to be afraid of him. And my question is why? And he said something in the interview. I'm about to blow y'all. I hope y'all caught this. He said something in that interview that gave me chills. Let me tell you what he said. <clears throat> Even my husband looked up at the television screen like, what did he just say? What he said was, Tasha said, technically you have two families. He said, no, I don't. I have one. She goes, no, Martel, you have two families. He said, I have one. She said, no, you have one child by your mistress <clears throat> and you have four children by your ex-wife. He said, no, I have one family. And with Melody gone, I'll have my four kids and we will all be one family. Did y'all not catch that? With Melody gone, I will have the four kids. And in that moment, I said, hold up. Even my husband looked up. I said, is he planning on doing something to this woman? We just studied atomic habits. And Habits are something that you do. It's like autopilot. He said it so smooth and clearly, he didn't even realize what he said. He said, with Melody gone, I will have the four children. That's one family. We'll, we'll be one family. Go back and catch it. Go back. I, I was like, oh, my God. I don't know if Tasha caught it. He sure did. He didn't say what he, he let in. I thought he was going to say, no matter if Arion left me, or if Melody left me, I'll still have my kids. And that's what I mean by one family. That, that's not what he said. That's where I thought he was going. He said, with Melody gone, I'll have the four kids. And we will be one family. Or we, and that makes us, or something like that. Go back and listen. Okay. In this interview, Martel gave off three energies. Code, calculating, hostility. <clears throat> He's established triangulation. And please excuse my voice. I'm feeling a bit under the weather, but he's established triangulation in three dimensions. The first one is between himself, his youngest son, and his oldest son. That's the first triangulation. The second one is between himself, Melody, and Ariad. The third triangulation that he's established is between himself, Melody, and Sugar Mama. Did y'all pick up on that? This man has a, a loop, a supply, a su three supply sources going on. And somebody today, I think it was the mind of Lilith, <clears throat> even called out one that I didn't catch. She said he also has one going on with the network and production. I'm, I'm going to leave that there, okay? He's casted a web of confusion and strife, okay? And cold butt is sitting over there grinning from ear to ear like she didn't want something. But baby, let me tell you something, cold butt. The joke is on you, love, but you're not going to see it until later. He's going to do you exactly like my grandfather did his wife, who was a side chick. I didn't know that. My grandfather recently passed away almost two months ago. He's, he's, he was married to a lady over 50 years, not my grandmother. Now, I didn't find out until he was on his deathbed that his wife of 50 years was actually a side chick that he had finally married. On... <clears throat> In his final days, let me tell you what my grandfather did, y'all. He pulled out a plot twist on his deathbed. On his deathbed, he left her nothing. 
He revoked her rights as a spouse to make a decision on his medical care. Okay. He established point of uh, power of attorney to one of my aunts. She walked in the room, put that paper in that wife's face and said, I am the power of attorney. You have no rights here. I will make all of the decisions. And he did not leave her not one penny. After 50 years of I'm going to stand beside him as his wife, he dogged you the hell out. And you know what my aunt told me? He said, a hoe is a hoe. You still can't trust a hoe. Come on. And that's why I said, cold slaw. <laughs> the joke is on you. He may not get you today, but he will dog you out. It may not be today. It may not be later. And let me tell y'all something. She ain't going nowhere. She's going to be like that lady that stayed with my grandpa for 50 years. And at the end of the day, that motherfucker is going to establish power of attorney. He ain't going to leave you nothing. That's how cold hearted this man is. I was like, damn, my grandpa wrong as hell. But then I thought, shit, that's what you signed up for. It ain't no joy in being a side chick. OK, and that's why I say cold butt over there laughing and grinning from ear to ear because he called her his woman. But the best thing that he could come up for you as a woman was to say that you do homework. Well, nothing else. That's all he could give you. And then he turned around and he devalued you in the same breath because he pretty much validated the suspicions of you being an in-house sex slave. Now, we've heard it before from another content creator. And it was alleged until he spoke on it last night. He says that you have duties and responsibilities owed to him. That was very disturbing. And there was very cryptic. That was a very cryptic statement to make about your woman. She has duties and responsibilities. Ariane, you have no idea what you've gotten yourself into. And low key, he told on himself. I'm going to tell you something else he did. Because he, he, he said <clears throat> child support. Hell, you only get $2,000. Y'all, he was telling y'all what he pays her. He only pays her $2,000 every three months or so. Y'all miss it. Martel lies in reverse order. Whenever he accuses Melody of something or he makes a statement, it actually applies to him. That's what narcissists do, in my opinion. I believe he is a full-blown narcissist, in my opinion, based off of his behavior. That $2,000 that he was talking about is what he showed in the court paperwork that he gives to Arion like once a quarter. So he sat there and he said, oh, yeah, I take good care of her. Baby, I don't know about you or what town you live in. $2,000 don't go too far where I live in, where I live at. That's how he, when he, when he got specific with the numbers, he's telling y'all what he gives her as an informal payment of child support every couple of months. And some people say, oh, that's a lot. No, it's not. When you, got, when you don't work, no, it's not. That ain't nothing. Now, he say they don't live together, but I don't believe that. You got rent. You got to get your yard cut. You got apartment insurance. You got utilities. Nah, mm -mm. don't believe the hype. And then I hope that judge, because in, in, the, in the state of Alabama, you're not supposed to be residing together unless you're married. See, how can a woman that live in another house have duties and responsibility in your house? So somebody lying. Either somebody married or somebody living together. Somebody lying. And Tasha, I wish you would have pushed harder, but I felt like you were scared of him. Okay. I felt like you was real scared of him. Um, but when that judge finds out that y'all are living under the same roof, you're going to lose joint custody, sir. Cause it's, you're not supposed to do that too smart for your own good. There was no happiness, no expressions of joy in that story. No expressions of peace. He low key demonstrated a resentment toward his mom. Did y'all hear him when he said that his mom loves his brother did you see that narc come out when he starts talking about her loyalty to his brother, even when he gets locked up? And here I am, star athlete, and I even made a million dollars, and she still loves him. And Tasha said, <clears throat> are you jealous? He hinted that it bothered him that his mother didn't reject his brother for being a misfit. And my question would have been to him, or my question to you, Martel, is, is that the reason you resent your oldest son so much? and display physical aggression toward him? Is that the reason you drew blood when you hit him upside his head? Because you're still stuck in your childhood and you want to pick on your son because you, were je you are jealous of him, like you were jealous of your brother? Do you resent your oldest son because his mother loves him? 
a healthy love, like you resent your mom for loving on your brother, even though your brother got in trouble. Okay. Is that why you have a hard time with your oldest son? Because of the love that Melody shows him that you didn't get? That's just a question. Okay. And she places his safety before you. And you want her to forego everything that you've done to him physically. So you continue to build up resentment. Okay. And let me tell you something. <clears throat> Is there a possibility that you love your youngest son more because you got Arion to crawl on her knees like a dog? And because she, because she complies with you, her son gets more love. And because Melody won't let you run all over her, her son gets less love. But what happens, Martel, if Arion starts to stand up like Melody? Do you start to punish the youngest son? Are y'all following me? Are y'all following me? All right, I'm about to open up the lines. Let me put the in the chat. That's all I got on that. That this was a whole mess. If I know two dollar Tasha is in it for her money, we all are. But it's some things that I would just pull from the internet, child. Braylon Lee, welcome to the stage. What are your thoughts? <laughs> Oh, my Lord Jesus. First of all, epically done. Hello to the chat. Shout out to all the content creators for um, covering this one. Um, you know, the thing that really got to me was the children and also the blatant fact of disrespecting um, the house that you used to have. You know, Luther Vandross said the house is not a home and that's up to the man to buy the house and the woman to make it a home. The fact that you wanted what you want so bad, but you're still crying for it shows me that you're not comfortable. And I talked about deal or no deal that in round one, the divorce was round one when you open up six cases, round two when you open up five cases. That's getting with coleslaw. Round three, when you have to open up four cases, is when you have the child. Round four, when you have to open up three cases, is when you got arrested for domestic violence. Round two, round five, where you have to open two cases, is when your ass got arrested. Now we're at the stage where you got to open up one case at a time. And you dox Melody. Sometimes the reasons why people do not get the deal that they want is because they're so greedy for the deal that they mm -hmm. think is going to be everything. But sometimes everything you think is going to be usually is a lie. And um, I just, I pray for Melody, I pray for the kids. But, you know, the best lesson is a bought lesson. But sometimes that price is too damn high and you don't, you can't cash that check. Hmm. Um, and sometimes you can go bankrupt by being a fucking asshole. And a stupid idiot. So All right. that's why I have to say Queen Sheba. Well, thank you. I appreciate you coming up. No problem. Uh, Love you as really? always. See you soon. All right. Bye, y'all. Appreciate you. I'm about to bring up Gail Harris. One thing I wanted to say too. Real quick before I bring up Gail and then Tiana, all things Helen and, and Jazzy J and everybody else that's in line. Listen, did y'all realize what he did and what he said? He reset the clock on her, on that mistress. Did y'all hear that? He said all the years that she was with him, it don't count anymore. That nigga reset the clock on you, girl. Now he says he needs to get to know you and get a feel for who you really are. You have no idea what he's doing to you. He's already dequalified you by this standard, by saying, I, I, I need to get to know you. Boy, you've been cheating with her. She didn't had a whole baby and, and everything else don't count. I just, I just, I don't know if y'all caught that, that he reset the clock on her to see if they can be in a relationship. We got to get to know each other. Gail, what are your thoughts? Welcome to the stage. Hey, Queen, I have a question before I make my comment. What is doxing? Um, so there's different forms of doxing. It's just not, can, if one of my mods, we talked about that a while back. If somebody could put it in the chat and okay. we'll come back to it. Okay. Because I, there's, there's an extended definition. 
Okay, I okay. I just I, I heard you guys. I've been hearing people say it all day, and I wasn't. I tried to Google it. It's but... just releasing someone's information, but it's not. It's there's some more. There's some more details to it. Okay. Well, I just the comment that I really wanted to make is, whew, you know, I really wish that Arion and, and Martel get a job because obviously they don't have nothing to do besides go after Melanie. Um. I, they need a job. She needs a job. She needs a hobby. She needs something. Something needs to happen. But, you know, I woke up this morning. Okay, I'm going to tell you this real quick and then I'm going to tell somebody else. When I first started even, lit, you know, I watched Love and Marriage Huntsville started during COVID. But the first time I really paid attention to Arion and Melanie or whatever is when Arion wild out on, so, on, YouTube, I mean, on uh, Instagram a couple of years ago. And I have a 23-year-old daughter, so I that that's when the lines of communication start opening more for her and myself. But this morning when I woke up, my heart was so heavy for Miss Van. Because to see your only daughter go through this, and especially when you knew that he wasn't the man for you from the get-go. But you know, kids, we have to let our adults' kids do whatever they, they're going to do anyway. And then my heart broke for Sugar Mama. And I agree with you, King Queen, what he was saying about his oldest son as well. I don't know what Melanie can do or the video or whatever, but if I was Melanie, I would have been at my attorney's office trying to get my kids away from this idiot. This man, I, you know what? I said today, I wish I was Melanie's big sister so I could go beat. I'm just leave it at that. But on top of that is that I'm, I'm really afraid for Melanie because he is evil. I don't think I've ever seen anybody that evil. And if you if you look at the video with Tasha K, you could see in her face that she was getting frustrated. Like she was trying and it's certain things that even she was getting frustrated talking to him, you know, while she was going through all of that. I I don't know what his end game is, and that's the point. He needs to just say what his end game is because all of this backfired badly for him. And of course it backfired badly for him. So what does that mean for Melanie and those children? You know, I I guess I have more questions than I actually have a comment when it comes to everybody else's opinion. But I just, y'all, we just got to keep her prayed up and keep covering her. And I just wish the best for her. But that's all I had to say. No, thank you. We appreciate you coming up. All right, I'm going to drop Gail down. Jazzy J, welcome to the stage. Hey, Queen. Hey, how are you? I'm good. I'm a little sad for Mel, though. I've just been prayed up. I know she got security and everything. Um, I just want to say, I didn't watch the whole video, but what I did notice is he threw Arian coleslaw under the bus okay. with the revenge piece. That's number one. And number two, I watched a little clip because I was passporting it. It don't seem like he like coleslaw. And I think Arian is catching hell. I don't think she laughing or I think she catching hell and she's scared for her life. And I believe she very I believe he's very abusive to her. And I believe something happened with um that Paris situation. Um I don't know. Uh, my grandma say the grass don't oh, so how, what's the sign? It was the saying go about the grass ain't always green on the other side. I don't think Ariana knew what she was getting herself into wanting to marry man, but that's on her. But that's it. I just want to say I admire you, Queen. I love when women support women, especially black women, and then educated black women. Make your moves, supporting each other. I love it. Keep doing you. I love to hear you on the YouTube streets. And I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of all y'all because I've been away and I've seen y'all going to Melody Function. I came back to YouTube when I seen you uh, post that somebody was on the plane uh, in the front row. I was so proud. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it. Keep doing you. I love the support and prayers for male and family because th this is a lot. But that's it. Everybody, bye and have a blessed day. Thank you for Thank having you, me. Jazzy. No, we appreciate you, Queen. Good night. Good night. All right. We're going to drop Jazzy down and we're going to bring uh, uh, let me drop Jazzy down. We're going to um, Tiana, did I say that correctly? Yes, ma'am. How are you? All right. You? Welcome to the stage. Thank you. So I think for me, I think one of the questions that I really have is I want to know how own is going to navigate this 
how Carlos is going to navigate this. Because I think it's getting to the point where, I mean, we're seasons and we're years removed just between, you know, two divorcees kind of going back and forth and having their regular drama. It's like now you have, I, I know you probably saw when Martel posted like on Instagram a couple of days ago talking about, oh, well, Carlos made me bring the flowers and so it's like now you're starting to lie on production you know that's the one thing own bravo all these networks you know stand by you don't lie on production like we don't we might you know ask you to do certain things but they're also open and honest about that so i just really wonder how own is just going to navigate having these two because what's really the point of having both of them on the show if you're not going to have them interact and at this point it's not safe for melody to even be near martel at all and so I, I'm, I want, I know that they're also filming right now. And so I wonder if Carlos and Melody's um, show down in Huntsville, I wonder if that's probably going to be like, maybe like the season opener. Um, but I do, I am interested to see how, you know, you have a group of couples who are very divided and I want to know, like, how do you film these scenes and how do you give us the reality show that, you know, the fans deserve while also protecting Melody, or do you just fire Martell and call it a day? And so that's all I have to say. I love your show. I think the first time I ever saw your channel was, your, was actually your interview with Martell. Um, and even that had me pulling my hair out. But thank you so much for um, having viewers, and I hope you guys have a great night. No, thank you for coming up. We appreciate it. That's a really good question. I think we're all going to be on standby watching to see how ITV, a.k.a. OWN, is going to move in this situation. <laughs> yes, ma'am. You guys have a good night. Our, you too. You too, queen. I'm going to drop Tiana down and bring up Kay Journey. Welcome to the stage. Shantae, you're up next. Hey, everybody. Good evening. Um, hey. I'm, try uh, I'm trying not to shake because I am really concerned about Melody's welfare. <laughs> like, like <clears throat> I, I, you know, I was trying to chalk it up to I uh, watch too much Fatal Attraction. Excuse me. Um, but he is diabolical. He is unhinged and it's not safe. Own is setting herself up for big liability should something happen. And in my head, I can just see all the neck just looking at him. The evil energy just seeps through him, through our television screens, through our phones. I am extremely concerned about her safety and people engaging this man. It's like irritating me because we've seen this happen time and time again, especially in our community. What, did, um, what was it, Tina Turner, when she tried to go back home and her mama sent her back down to Ike? Like we see this people sending them back to their, we constantly send people back to their abusers, right? And this guy's abusive. And I think that he will stop at nothing. He doesn't see anything wrong with what he's doing. Um, I'm concerned about her, her welfare, Queen Sheba. It's really, really, really concerning for me. And I know we want to keep her prayed up, but Mel may have to walk away because it doesn't seem like Own is going to intervene. They should have already intervened by now. They should have already done so. Let and me they ask, haven't. Let's chat real quick. Um, one, it, stay or go. Do y'all feel like Mel should stay or go? Keep going. I'm sorry, Kay Journey. But yeah, I just want to yeah. get a poll from the chat since you brought it up. Yeah. Like, cause it, I don't think it's safe. I, I don't think it's safe for her. It's no telling what he will do or what he will force uh, coleslaw to do cabbage to do like we don't know how far she will go to appease this man but he is evil like i'm i'm genuinely concerned for mel and she has a good spirit and i know god has her covered but the way the devil likes to jump from person to person to get done what he wants to get done it, i'm just concerned and so I'll, mel you know keep it tight keep it right i move from the north to the south so i can go ahead and you know i have the right to protect myself right and the way that i see fit so i i like that but i, I melody i'm throwing that tidbit in it for a reason because i'm really I'm, I'm just genuinely concerned i think she's a beautiful person that has a beautiful spirit um but i'm concerned and i do think that tasha k was afraid while interviewing him because i don't think she could believe i think she felt the energy is she a pisces like me i know she felt that evil energy um um, it, it's embarrassing that she went along with it and interviewed this guy, but I, I'm concerned and, and I just think that Melanie may have to walk away completely, but own is opening, them, opening themselves up because this is a workplace environment to massive liability. Ma even if nothing bad happens physically, the mental anguish that she's going 
through that we could all see, that's a massive liability. But that's all I wanted to say, Queen Sheba. I'm going to drop down now. Thank you for having me and good night, y'all. All right. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, is Linda is Linda Gamble in the chat? She normally does a good job of as a moderator of removing any trolls. I keep at seeing people asking me, do I have moderators? I thought I did. Maybe they left. Is Linda Gamble here tonight? But the, but my, um, if Linda's here, Linda, can you handle that for me? Thank you. Shantae, welcome to the state. Hello. Hi, Queen. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. Um, my comment is this. A lot of people who don't like male always says that she thinks she's perfect or that she's an angel. And this is my thing. When you look at male, because she's so gorgeous, she's so put together, she has an awesome vibe, she loves the Lord, her personality is amazing, you see perfection. And that begins to agitate the insecurities within yourself. And so they feel like, because I look at her and see perfection, she thinks she's perfect. That's not the case. You don't have to look at her and be jealous of her or look at her light and it dim yours. That's the problem with the cast. They see the light that shines around her and it dims their light. That's not the problem. They can shine together. The fans can shine along with male. They don't have to be jealous of her as fans, as women. They can love on her and say, you're a beautiful woman. You have yourself together and still feel okay about themselves. I think that people see male and begin to have insecurity within themselves. And then it makes them act the way they act towards male. And also, they keep saying that male can't keep friends. Martel friends were never her friends. We haven't heard of a fallout with a hairdresser, a makeup person, a high school friend, a college friend. We've never heard of any fallouts from the people really in her life. No, she can't keep Martel friends because they're Martel friends. They were never her friends. So that's all I had to say. Period. Period. I love the way cut and dry, straight to the point. Straight Thank to the you, point. Queen. No problem. No problem. Thank you for coming up. I'm going to drop you down. All things Helen G. You're up next. Give me one second. Hold on. Let me drop the link for Trina. Oops. I dropped the wrong link. I'm talking about Dachshund. Hold on. Trina got a lot to say. I want Trina to come up. Trina, we're going to hold some space for you tonight, sweetheart. Therefore, you don't have to go rogue in the chat. You can come right on up and speak your piece. Helen, I'm going to let you go. Okay. Welcome to the stage. But Trina, I'll be waiting for you to click the link. What's going on tonight? All things Helen G. Hey, lady. How are you today, queen? Good. How are you? Good. Girl, let me tell you something. My anxiety has been off the roof. Since yesterday, it has been off the roof. Like, it's, I, it's over the moon. And... I, I feel for Melody. There are so many things that are going on in this whole scenario that makes me so uncomfortable for her. Although I know God's got her back, it's so uncomfortable. But I wanted to ask you a question. Did you see uh, here him make the statement that he didn't go to church that often? Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you can remember back when he kept making his statements about how he made her and that the reason why she was in church and all this stuff is because he went to church all the time. On church on my yeah. interview. Yeah. Mm -hmm. On your interview, how he went to church all the time and he was the reason why, thank you for that, Queen, you jog my memory. He was mm -hmm. the reason why she was in church. He's the reason why she was singing or she was a part of the church. He was the one introduced her to church. He was the one that first took her to church. He literally was the reason why she got saved and filled with the Holy Ghost. He was the reason why she, God talked to her for the first time. Like he literally gave her, took all the credit for her ever being a part of the church house. And then you hear the truth, truth of who he really is in the moment that he says, oh no, I didn't go to, I haven't been to see, he forget the lies that he's told. Mm -hmm. He continuously tell lies and he forgets the lies that he's told because he continuously go back and say something that goes directly against what he said initially. He lies so much. 
I'm just nervous for this whole thing. I just want to see it all play out. Um, I Before I, I get off, I wanted to make a statement that I was listening to another commentator to, tonight who stated that Don, the manager, has already stated, oh, there's another version of the tape. Hmm. There's more to the video. And there are lawyers, not lawyer, lawyers on deck. And they've wow. got it all. So y'all, it's about to play out. Whatever happens, you know, Mel is going to be mom's the word until something happens. So y'all just, we just keep praying in the background. God's got it all in control. I agree. Thank you. You're thank welcome. you for the positive word, Helen. And thank you for being so patient. Oh, no problem. God bless you. I see you later. later. All right, Queen. Bye. We're going to bring up, Helen's going to drop down. It's me, Be Dazzle, next, followed by Cheryl Howard. And then the rest of you in line, I call you. I'll let you know who's next after Cheryl. It's me, uh, Be Dazzle. You. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Queen. Listen, I listened to that interview. And I don't know if you missed it or not, but to me, Martell got set up. He got okay. set up big time. There was a point in there, and a, another somebody called it out. I had to go back and look at it. Mm -hmm. Tasha K's husband was looking. He it looked like he couldn't stand Martell he, when he was standing coming behind him. Oh wait a minute! Wait a minute! So you saw a paid version of the video that we didn't see. Sounds like yes. Oh, so you you dropped twelve ninety nine, huh? And didn't even watch it all. Hold on, wait a minute. <laughs> I love not. I like it. How many people was logged into that? Where you? I didn't even pay logged? attention to it because I was moving around, so I had okay, it on speakerphone. Okay, got it. Okay. But he was looking like he couldn't even stand it, so I know they was trashing him after he left. But let me come back and say this: sometimes things, and I think you you talked about this a while back when I first, and it's been a while. Sometimes things could be a setup to be blessed. Even though a lot of people are mad at Martel because he said some disgusting things, especially about those kids. It needed to be seen on a large platform because he's not getting the response he thinks he's getting. All that venom he spewed, it just came back on him. Just came lies he was telling, videos he was showing. You set yourself up in court. I've seen people who don't even watch the show just on YouTube talking about how disgusting this guy is. Because in one of those videos, you heard Melody call them and put my money back into that account. That's why she was whooping your butt. You, you took her money. He admitted to taking her money on a lot yes. that he did when he was eating Popeye's chicken. I don't know if y'all remember. Own Miss, I don't know how he got the money. I think it may, maybe they accidentally sent it to the wrong account or he had it rerouted. It was in the amount of $34,000. He was supposed to only take $17,000. He took the total of $34,000 and the judge, what is it? Made a, what does it call y'all? When a judge, they issue a what? Uh, oh. When they tell you to do something in order for him to give it back to her. He but never this is a different amount because he his response was, well, a hundred half of that hundred and fifty thousand no, is mine. Said we didn't split that hundred and fifty thousand down the down the middle. So okay. That's what he said. But in that situation, he stole her money. Yeah, he stole Not her money. Not only did he steal her yeah. money. He, he took all of her clothes. He refused to, to allow the kids to have their furniture, y'all. I want to refresh y'all's memory. He held all of the kids' beds, their mattresses. That lady had to start from scratch. She was, she was on the friends and family plan, okay? Sleeping at friends and family's homes on air mattresses because that's the type of dog-ass nigga that he is. Stole her money because it wasn't like she couldn't start all over, but you impeded the process. You made it mm -hmm. harder. And that's mm -hmm. why I think she has, God has allowed her to sell away mm -hmm. and fly like an eagle because can't no right come from doing wrong. But he was too stupid to even cut that part out <laughs> that you stole her money. So every, everybody calls that. Who didn't even, who doesn't even watch the show call? Oh, you stole her money. That's why she was in the act of the fool. He couldn't even cut that part out trying to be so vindictive. And last time I'm gonna drop down, we talk about Arion. Some people say they feel sorry for Arion. I don't, and you shouldn't either. There's a song you might you know about the rhythmics called Sweet Dreams Are Made of This. It's a, a it's a piece in there. Some of them want to use you, some of them want to get used by you, 
some of them want to abuse you and some of them want to be abused. That's Martell and Ariel. She wants to get used by Martell. She don't mind getting abused by him either. So that's why I don't feel sorry for her. And that's all I got, Queen Sheba. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. It's BB Dazzle's going to drop down. Cheryl Howard is up next. And then we're going to go to, I think, Can I Be Honest and Justice? And then we got another J that's that's waiting. So, Cheryl. Hello, Queen. Welcome. Queen Sheba. How you doing, baby? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Well, <laughs> this interview that he did with Tasha K, to me, was a shit show. Martell is a narcissistic a-hole. And he picked the right blogger because she did the exact same thing, allegedly, and in my opinion, to an A-list celebrity rapper. And I said this until I'm blue in the face. She got 4.3 million reasons to mind her business when it comes to this situation with Melody. Melody is going to hold Martell accountable. Nobody has never held Martell accountable and Melody is holding him accountable, which is why he has a he resents her because she's not going to just let him walk all over her and do her any kind of way. He's not going to uh, she's not going to allow him to disrespect her and think and treat her like she's one of these pick me's. And he's upset because he's now the one who's being taunted. Now he know what that feels like. Now he got to sit on the sideline while she accelerate. While she, while, she, while she rise to the top, make, like I said, making money, looking like money, smelling like money. Got, she's, she's, she's ambitious. She's strategic. She's smart. Pause right to, there, Cheryl, because you said money. Money, 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 money comes to me, flowing effortless, effortless, effortlessly. Money, 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 money comes to me, Come, comes to me, comes to me, comes to me. Money, 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 money comes to me, flowing effortless, effortless, effortlessly. Money, 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 money comes to me, comes to me, comes to me. Money, 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 money. And that's what we standing on. Exactly. Go ahead, Queen. I had exactly. to. That's what we standing <laughs> on. <laughs> exactly. So he is upset and butthurt because... Even though he let her leave with nothing, she turned nothing into something. She turned lemons into lemonade. And he can't handle that because he wanted to see her in the closet crying and destroyed and Amen. upset. And this is what he wanted. And he didn't see that. He's now, she now have, like I said before, drained his demonic energy at the end of the day. Wantel is going to lose. He has lost already. Hmm. He And as far as uh, Tasha K, I expect that from her. I mean, she's married to a man that's in, a, in the African culture who can have as many wives as he wants. This is why she identified with all these side chicks. She got the side chick coalition going on over there. Because she is in that same situation. This man can marry another woman today, and she got to take the sideline. She got to get on the sideline. So he can get to know his second wife. So I don't respect her. And I see why she's having all this problems she's having. Martel did not prove anything. All Martel did was give Melody more ammunition. He has painted himself as a stalk, a stalking, raving maniac. And this is the picture he has painted. And, and on top of trying to paint and make it appear like Melody's the problem. But now he has exposed himself again, as usual, and he's going to pay for it because karma's a bitch, and what goes around comes around. His karma's coming. Trust me on that. And that despicable thing he said about his children, if that's how you feel about your children, give them to Melody. Let her raise them. Give, to him, give her full custody. He can't feed them. He don't have food in the house. He don't have lights in the house. She got to pay for lights. She got to pay for food. Let her have the children if that's how he feel about it. If they're bad, as he say, let them, let, let them be with their mother. Let her get full custody. Give up your rights. You're not going to do anything but keep those kids in therapy most of the time is what he's going to do. Give them up, Martel. Let them go. Let her raise them. Let her have full custody. Because it's obvious they're, they're bad, they're this, they're that. Give them up. Put, your, you know, put yourself out of your misery. 
She's a better parent. You're a, you're a deadbeat dad. Martel is not a good father. He went to court to take her babies away and on top of everything, try to sue his four-year-old daughter. That is not a man who loves his children. He, put, he tried to put out revenge pee when his daughter or his, his children is on social media. They could come across that. They could see that. Do he not get that? I agree. Cheryl, I got to move on. Sure, I I'm, I'm done. Off. And thank you for letting me come up, mama. No problem. I got to. Okay, Justice. Okay, okay Cheryl's going to drop down. Justice, you were next, but something just happened with your device. Let me go to Jackie and then Justice and then Bad Apple. Welcome, Jackie. Thank you, Queen Sheba. This is my first time on and I've been listening and following you for a while now. Thank I wanted to you. say, I think that we, we continue to talk about what Montel has done. I live in Chicago and just the other day, a man killed his wife, his two daughters. He allowed his son to live, called the police and stayed there until the police came. I think we now need to look at Martel as being not a narcissistic. Yes, he is, but also dangerous. I think he wants her unalived. I think he wants her in a place where she no longer exists. And so the issue becomes, how do we support Mar uh, uh, Melody where we have already seen the court systems in, in Alabama is not in her favor. Think about the woman judge who did not give her full custody. And so, you know, you look at it in a situation and say, he's this, he's this, and he needs to do this. We know he's, not, we know that he's not going to do any of that, right? So now we need to go, how do we support her? Show up, show out, make sure the courts understand that she has a village that will stand with her and that he will not um, be victorious in whatever demonic spirits that he's forcing upon her. I l think I looked at him when I watched the, the the video with him, the you know YouTube with him and Tasha K, and I looked in his eyes. Martell has checked out. Martell is about being vindictive. He's about being. He's about winning. He at whatever circumstances they may be. He doesn't care about the children. He doesn't care about the money. He doesn't care about the fame. At this point, he wants to prove that everything that he did was okay. And, and the problem becomes is that when I look at YouTube and follow people and listen and look at the comments and see women who are continually to support him and to follow him, it's disturbing. It's, it's a triggering, but it's also disturbing because you go, when will we teach our black women that this is not acceptable? We need to figure out, I think collectively, how do we support her going forth to make sure that the courts understand that this will not end? I, um, they're going to court, he said, at the end of the month. What's then? She has attorneys. What then? How do we support her to make prayer. sure we, we, you know, we pray? Exactly. We pray. Prayer, prayer and we pray. positive words of affirmation. We don't speak fear. Yes. Uh, and and we, we're not going to cast out. We're, we're not going to. Uh, that that would be my recommendation. Yeah. Yeah. That would be my yeah. recommendation. But thank you yeah. for coming up, Jackie. Very powerful. Very powerful commentary. Thank you. Thank you. Justice, you're up next. Then Bad Apple. And then Gigi, and then I'm gonna keep going. Uh, let's see, where's Justice? Welcome, Justice. Hey, Queen. This is my first time ever speaking on anybody's panel, so I'm kind of excited. <clears throat> oh, and also All you're right. my Scorpio sister. So I want to point out something I haven't heard any other content creator talk about. Did y'all notice how adamant he was about saying he wasn't a stepfather? He meant what he said. But it was just so interesting how, like, I'm not no stepfather. While meanwhile, y'all remember a couple of months ago when that was a dig was going around saying, "Oh, me and our five kids." You know, allegedly her father has custody of parents now, and it makes me wonder if you know Martel gave Arian it's me or her, because you know he don't like nobody else having any attention outside of him. That was a dig. I couldn't believe he said that. I was like, "What do you mean? Like, I'm not gonna no say that child as below him." That's not mine. 
I'm not her stepfather. That's a dig. That was so he, called her mama, he called her mama a peasant a few years ago. Mm -hmm. so, tied all together. That was a dig. That was so disgusting. I'm like, Ariana, girl, you know, we already know she's slow. But when she when he said that, it was like you could just hear the vitriol in his voice. Like, I don't want like even even when he was saying my my family is my five kids. Like, girl, he has no plans on either ever marrying you or ever incorporating your child in his life. Never. That's all I got to say. She don't care. <laughs> you know, the truth be told, just as I agree with you, I don't think she cares. I, I think she's in over. I think he's the best thing that she's ever had. Like that song, Beyond the best thing that I, that's the best thing she's ever had. And until she gets something else by way of self-love justice, she's going to stay. But thank you for coming up. Bad Apple, welcome. Hey, Queen. How are you tonight? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I have a burning question because um, I just noticed, see how he is moving. He's moving in a desperate fashion right now. And he did state that he is not filming. And, well, well I have a couple questions. I want to know, does Tasha K pay people for these interviews and do you think that he has already been fired i don't know if she pays and i, I don't even want to say she does or don't because i i just don't know um I, if if i had to guess I, I would not guess that he's been fired i would probably say he's trying to pull a power trip it's a, a, a pissy power trip, trip. Mm -hmm. me or her <clears throat> i'm not gonna uh. come i'm not gonna come uh, Cause you remember he says she doesn't have a storyline in his head. He believes that she needs him when it's really opposite. He needs any type of negative connection to her to operate in full narc mode. So he actually believes his lies in my opinion. And he's hoping that she falls flat on her face and the show goes flat and the show flat lines. This is what I think that it doesn't mean I'm right. He's hoping that he's put Carlos in a very, very, Tight predicament. That's what I can come up with. That is crazy because literally half, if not, I would say 75% of the audience are male supporters. So I'm not exactly sure. Like, I don't even think that he really wants what's her name? That's what I'm going to call her. What's her name? I don't think he really even wants her on the show, to be honest. I think he just wants Mel to go. I think he wants he wants Mel to be fired or something. But I just, I don't know. It's just weird to me that he thought that this interview was going to be a good thing. Because for whatever reason, every time he talks, it backfires on him. He doesn't realize what a liability he is when he speaks. It's so weird. It's baffling. And I do agree that he is beyond a nar narcissist. He really is a sociopath. In my opinion, mm -hmm. in my opinion, allegedly, he is a sociopath or maybe, maybe even a psychopath. But that's all I had. No, thank you for coming up to share. It's going to be interesting. It sounds like own and producers and people, I bet they're scrambling to figure out something. I wouldn't be scrambling for sh when it came to him. Bye. But thank you. <laughs> That's what I, I, I literally be like, Woo, thank you. But so we're going to be watching Bad Apple right alongside you. All righty. Well, thank you. I'll be back down in the chat. Okay. We, we will see you in the chat. So we're going to take Bad Apple down and then it's Gigi's turn. Then Miss TC, Kiki with Chrissy. And then I got three more behind that. Gigi, welcome to the stage. Hello. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, we can. What's up? I, What's going on? This is my first time up to, and I'm kind of nervous. But I just wanted to say that Melody been playing chess for a very, very long time. And I realized that the one time when she was on the stage and they he tried to say that he had a tape with her uh, doing fellatio with a guy, and she was saying, acting like she didn't um, know if she did or not. I think she was playing strategic on that on that question because she wanted him to pull it out. 
She's been trying to get so much evidence to get this guy off the show for so long. And I think that that's the only reason she was saying she don't remember is because she wanted him to show the tape. And when, when somebody, when he said he had it and he wanted to show it and they said, don't do it. And he, I think she wanted him to show it. So she was trying to get evidence to get him off the show or to get proof. I think she'd been collecting a lot of evidence for a long time. So then when everything go down, like this interview with Tasha K, I think that put the nail in the head right there. So that's what I wanted to say. And I wanted to say, and I wonder why is Carlo King so quiet now when he has so much to say about everything else? Why isn't he, why isn't he talking right now? He's never really touched on Martel's behavior. Yeah, but this is very serious. This is like his his neck on the line right now. He needs to be saying something. Hmm. Don't you agree? So I've been saying that for over a year. Mm -hmm. Over a so, year. So, yeah. So I think she got everything she needs now. And, and, and I think the end is coming very soon. Yeah. Well, thank but you for coming up, Gigi. I, I appreciate you. See, your first time wasn't so bad, was it? <laughs> it was still nerve wracking. <laughs> That's all right. Hey, celebrate when you when you drop down. Give yourself a big pat on the back. <laughs> thank you. All mm -hmm. right. So I'm gonna let Gigi drop down and Kiki with Chrissy. And welcome to the stage. Hey, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. I have. Well, I'm not even gonna get into the lies that he told they can so many can be pointed out but i the question that that's been running through my mind the last few hours i've been on youtube well not youtube but the women <laughs> the women like the fans i've been on both ends of the seat at one point in my life right but i could never see myself being comfortable with the man sitting up trash talking a woman that he goes home to a woman that um he married a woman he had kids by and then he still deal with like i don't understand how some women can sit up and defend martel and to still say okay well she cheated too and the same way that we can say that nobody has any proof on marcel nobody has any proof on mail but you have these you have these women who are so gung-ho on okay she cheated too how you know even if she did, like, I don't understand women that would tolerate and accept the behavior that this man has exhibited, not only to her, but to his youngest child with her and find that okay and just be okay with defending it. That's just, that's disgusting to me. I don't, I don't get it. Some people have become so accustomed to it their environment and the behaviors that they witness in their environment. Um, it's, it's their normal. So I often behind the walls, when we go behind the palace walls for members only, I often encourage people to pause and consider what they could have been exposed to throughout their entire life. Cause we often give approval to that, which we can identify with. And maybe that's some, what they seen growing up. I don't know. Maybe that's a form of love. I don't know. But when you think about it like that, it gives you a different perspective. And you say, ah, okay, let me give them a little bit of grace. Because they don't know that it could and it should be different between a man and a woman. Well, that's something to think about. Because I surely didn't think about it that way. I, I was sitting, <laughs> I was sitting up here. I said, boy, these some, boy, these some little trifling help for tell. I don't know. Thank you for okay. coming up, though. Yes, ma'am. All right, we got T, Miss Lady, and then Gen X, and then I'm going down the line. Welcome to the stage, T. You ready, T? You're on mute. If T don't pop up in a couple of seconds, we're going to go to Miss Lady. <clears throat> T, mic check, one, two, three. All right, we're going to take T down. Miss Lady, welcome to the stage. Hold on. Let me see. Is that T? Can you hear me now? Yeah, we can hear you. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. T, you got to turn down whatever device is playing in the background. T, check one, two, three. Okay, hold on. Okay, take your time. 
Yes. Can you hear me now? Yeah, we can hear you. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, so um, I saw that. Uh, how you doing, Queen? I'm good. I saw Thanks that for asking. There were um a couple of lawyers in your chat, and I wanted to ask them, do they believe Mel has enough to get a restraining order? Um. Also, I'm curious about. Paris's father. Mm. Um, why he hasn't come out and really said anything, um, knowing that his daughter is around a man that's been accused of abusing his own children. That's like really strange to me. <coughs> Excuse me. And also, um, someone said that Carlos was in. AC's comments on IG. Did you hear that? No. She yeah. blocked me. I'm blocked from her. Yeah, he, he was under her comments on IG. So I was wondering what that asking. I think he said something like, how did I get in it or something like that? Mm. That's really strange to me. Um, and also, when Mel goes back to court, um, to try to get the kids back on the show. Well, let me say this. If Martel doesn't get fired next season, what do you think the viewership will look like? I don't know. Because everybody has fans on the show. I don't know. I mean, yeah, they, ha they do, but I think Mel carries the show, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. I, I think she carries the viewership. And because of all of the things that's going on now, that interview he did, the doxing and all this other horrific stuff, I don't I don't see uh where he could sustain those numbers if they keep him on the show. You may have a good point. You may have a point. We will see. <clears throat> okay, thank you. No, thank you so much. And thank you for being patient. All right. We got Miss Lady. We're going to drop. I'm going to let T drop down. We got Miss Lady coming up. And um, because y'all, my screen is blowing up. We have so many people waiting to come in. I am going to have to um, ask that we do 90 seconds or less um, just so that I can give everybody as many people a turn. So Miss Lady, welcome. And then Simone Wealthy, you're up next. Hey, Queen Sheila. I usually hey. just stay in the weeds, but I had to come to the front of the congregation when y'all oh, were come speaking. Come on now. <laughs> Look, the doors of the church is open. I know that's right. Because I'm thinking, I'm like, okay, he's plotting to do, Martel is plotting to do the revenge fee on his ex-wife. Y'all, why I just now connected to me that he bought them kids phones so he can do the revenge fee for the kids to see it? Girl. This a different type of lowdown, y'all. Girl. You talking That's about breaking sure. children? For women to stand on business when it comes to not compromising your boundaries. Your no should be your no. Yes. But go ahead. And, and I'm just like, so he was okay with that little, the revenge piece thing. And the kids would have been able to see that. What was that going to do for his son? What was that going to do for his Torment, kids? terrorize, which is what narcissists do. Mm -hmm. Yes, I hope she gets custody of those children. We're sick of it. We're tired of Martell. Whatever we need to do to get rid of him, as far as being in that show and the proximity of her and her children, hey, I'm on. I'm 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 all aboard. <laughs> but that's my time. I yield my time, Queen Sheila. Oh, thank you, thank you. See, thank you, Miss Lady. I appreciate that. But that those are some good questions, and that was a good call out. I didn't even think of that. I appreciate you. Thank you. Anytime, y'all. Have a good night. You too. We're dropping down Miss Lady. Simone Wealthy, welcome to the stage. Miss Lady's going to drop down. Simone, what are your thoughts? Good Here's evening, Queen. Huh? Good evening. Um, hey. I, I didn't catch, I was distracted. What did she say with the phones with the children real quick? I didn't hear that. Like he got them those phones so they can see. He plotted this and planned this out. So they can mm -hmm. Okay. I, okay. Sorry, my phone it cut out. I was trying to get situated. 
Um, basically, I think I, initially looking at this interview with um, Tasha, I was like, okay, I still think it's bad, but I think it may help um, in court when it comes to possibly um, custody of the children and further down the line for possible um, um, restraining orders. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think if they could get, and I'm not an attorney, but I, I know a lot of times they'll get specialists to review this um, video, this in, interview that he did and have it deciphered through, you know, psychologists or whoever who specializes in narcissists, psychopaths, and, and see what their take is. And if it is what we kind of think it is, I would think that would help her in court possibly because the lies, con you know, we can connect the dots on the lies. You know, he said something in your interview and contradicted himself in this interview. So I hope this may help her, although, you know, we hate that she did it. Um, you know, it wasn't necessary, but maybe we can turn it around for something that can really help her in the long run. Um, and just basically, I just think um, he's, he, he's losing control bit by bit by bit. His in my opinion, his protection veil has been lifted. Um, I think um, that Snake Carlos has backed away from him. Um, you know, other people, maybe executives, whoever his contacts are, he knows he's not in a good place. He knows that they're not going to be giving him the quote unquote good edit anymore. And he sees these walls closing in on him. So right now he's just going to be continuing to strike out. So hopefully we can get him down and out of the picture sooner than later. And my prayers are with Melody and her children and Mrs. Van. Thank you. That was beautiful. Mm -hmm. And and I encourage everybody just to keep <clears throat> positive affirmation going towards that family. Uh, Melody didn't choose to break up her family. I'm going to leave that there. Those kids didn't choose to be away from their father. He made a conscious decision. Absolutely. To continue to uh, <clears throat> engage in behaviors where uh, his ex-wife had no choice but to prioritize her and her children's well-being. And I know people say everybody cheats. They do. And I think she was willing to forgive him until he said, no, I'm going to keep cheating and I'm, and I'm going to have a girlfriend and you're going to put up with it. And I think at that point she said, okay, I can't do that. But thank and, you and so much. Queen, and Queen, just look at that video that the, I saw it on one of them, Shade Room, one of them, na Neighborhood Talk. You could tell he was taunting her. That to me was abuse, taunting her. When someone takes that amount, any amount of money, but the amount of money that he took from her and she's trying to separate from him, trying to be peaceful. And he, you could tell in his voice and he was laughing, he was taunting her. So he, he just, I'm sorry, he needs to be put down like a dog yeah. in my opinion. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank Have you a good evening. Up. Hey, I'm going to go here to wellness and then I'm going to spend the block on, can I be honest? Because I, can I be honest? I know you were up here a little bit earlier and you dropped down and then here to, here to here. wellness, can I be honest? Mm -hmm. And then secret Osborne, you're, you're after that, but secret Osborne, your device is not connected. I'm scared to tell you to drop down. Let's just see, because there's so many people trying to get in, but we'll see here to wellness. Welcome. <laughs> can y'all hear me? Yep. We can hear you. I just want to thank you so much, Sheba, for being who you are. I'm so grateful that uh, Mel has acknowledged you and your platform. We all do. This is so therapeutic, as I, you know, have been saying in the comments, you know, kind of dealing with narcissistic uh, energy myself, just trying to strategize my way out. My heart is with um, all of the women following this that, you know, can understand this from a personal perspective. And um, my gosh, there's just so many questions and so many comments and I, I I follow day and night just because of the personal impact. This isn't a therapy. This is to my own circumstance, right? But, you know, I'm just wanting you to know in particular that, you know, you just kind of some of the more um, therapeutic coverage on this. And um, I, I really appreciate the technology that you are utilizing, how well is working in your favor and anytime you guys might see me uh in the comments or following i just want all of y'all to know that just hearing your views just being a part of this it's just very very helpful to me and i love melody i love her children i love each and every one of y'all and the um 
oh gosh, the community, this is um, so my prayers are with all of us as we navigate this, you know, and pray for the best for her. Pray for the best for all of you. Please pray for the best for me. All right, y'all. Thank you. That was beautiful. We appreciate you, Queen. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. You're welcome. So she's going to drop down here to wellness. It's going to drop down. We're going to add, can I be honest to the stage? Let's let them switch spots. Can I be honest? Welcome. What are your thoughts? Hi, Queen Sheba. Hey, Thank dear. you for having me up. I want to make it really quick. I know you say in 90 seconds. I have Thank three quick, quick points. Um, the first one was um, I, I hated to see him be intentionally vulgar towards her. It was almost rehearsed like what Tisha did on the reunion. He, when he was saying she was getting flued out to get effed and calling her B, it, it wasn't even like a natural, just when someone's upset and they're emotional, he was intentionally saying these vulgar things. When have we ever heard Martel do a lot of cursing? Now, we don't know him personally, but you can tell it was planned. It. Like, I'm going to say these vulgar nasty things to 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 demean her second thing um what i have saw with this this did not work the way that he planned for it to work of course everything does backfire on him but even people that don't like or care for mail as in as in far as other content creators particular male content creators and you are probably can imagine who I'm speaking of, a couple of them. They even had to say that this was horrible of Martel. This interview was not a good look. When someone who has said, hey, I don't care for this lady, but hey, you did wrong. That just shows a lot. That shows a lot. Even the people that are not for her had to be honest and say, you wrong for this. This is not a good look. You're being you're being evil. And last but not least, um, I think one of the earlier callers was talking about how some of these women come in defense for Martel and just like bash me all over the head. Early, I was on another panel where when I say they just beat her down, like I, I just don't get it how y'all don't see that this, like you just said, Queen Sheba, this man intentionally tore up his family. And so this is where they are now. What do you, what do they expect her to do? Continue if 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 it would have been the other way around, if she he could have made her lose her mind, but yet instead she fought and she's still here for her kids. It's just horrible. It, it's horrible all the way across the board. And I, I just wanted to put that out there. But it's very telling when people that do not care for you have to come and be honest and say, "Yeah, this man is vile." I agree. That's all I had to say. Thank you for being honest. Do you get it? Yep. <laughs> yeah, thank you for being honest. All right. <clears throat> we're going to go to, we're going to drop, can I be honest? I'm going to let you drop down. We're going to go to Osb Secret Osborne and then Beverly Childs. Just as a reminder, if you could keep it, your comments to 90 seconds or less, I have a slew of people that that's wanting to come in. Welcome to the stage, Secret Osborne. Hi, um, I've never been on a panel before, so I'm going to be a little nervous. Um, I just want to know what these cast mates are thinking, because Kimmy is definitely a pick me. Tisha is a follower. Stormy is just weird in general. And all of their spouses are as equally as bad as they are. I just don't believe that these women are going to have Melody's back because Martel is vile and disgusting and abusive. I was just re-watching like a whole bunch of the previous episodes and reunions and things. How he was screaming in Ms. Van's face, no, but like production didn't stop him doing that. How he would touch her, um, like when, when he would touch Mel, whenever she would say stop, nobody like listened about that. They would just laugh. I just think it's weird that these people, even though they're not close to Mel, I think it's weird that they still think that he's a good guy after he says all of these nasty, vile things about this woman. And I've personally never heard her say anything close to what he says about her and their children. 
because what man hits their child 25 times until they break skin? I just think it's so disgusting how they're they're probably going to defend him. So it's just nasty. Excellent points. I have to agree. But yeah, that's all I have to say. And I love your channel. Thank you. And I'm so Thank proud you. of you for, for coming up. You did great. Sounded <laughs> so here. You sound you sound like a Holly trained professional. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Secret Osborne is going to drop down. Um, <clears throat> and then we're gonna go to Miss Beverly, Dion, Soul T, and then I got four more waiting. All right, Beverly, welcome to the stage. Thank you, Queen. I just want to say I was triggered at first when I heard you say, because I missed it uh, when he said he wanted to get rid of Melody. He and then I prayed. Her. He well, said, when with her gone. Right. Got that you. to me, that's what that says. But anyway, uh, I calmed down. I prayed. God is good. Um, <clears throat> and I want I just wanted to say. No one, I don't believe I heard anyone ask how did he get uh, RP tape with her, you know, doing that. I think no one questioned him. If they did, I must have missed it. I asked and, him. And, huh? I asked him. Okay. He gave um, some answers. His first answer was, there is no tape to which I responded. Did you record Melody without her permission? Then he said, oh, well, anything if there, if, if, well, my, my, my ex, my wife, I mean, my ex would know about a tape. Of course. I Okay. Have Thank you for said. clearing that up for me. Okay. And then thirdly, I think we can all support Melody uh, by buying Sugar Mama products, 25% off on her website, money will help her, especially if she's going to court. I'm not saying she's broke or anything like that, but we can, as millimeters, we can support her by buying Sugar Mama uh, product. I bought it. I don't even have any kids, but I'm going to give it to someone that may need it or would appreciate it. So, and then I wanted to say, um, if Melody leaves the show, he will find her. And if he wanted to destroy her, he will continue on because, you know, those narcs, they never quit. And then finally, Don, Michelle, she's on it. So we don't have to worry. And a prayer changes things all the time. So let's pray. Let's support her by buying Sugar Mama products. And that's all I have to say. Oh, final. One more thing. Uh, Karma. Hold on there, yes. Miss Beverly. You, you well over 90s. But I love you. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I just want to say Karma will spin the block, and that's it. Goodbye. Okay. You, I'll see you on Saturday. Okay. Okay. Okay, honey. Bye bye. All right, Dion, you ready? We got Dion, Soul T, A, Nirvana, Mojo, and then who? The the bottom, the bottom row. All right, Dion, welcome to the stage. Hey, Queen. Can you hear me? Okay. You a little bit low. Come closer to your mic, or either adjust the volume. How about now? Sounds good. Okay. Thank you for having me. I just wanted to say quickly how disappointing it was that Tasha just continued to make excuses for him and didn't hold him accountable. And it was really interesting to hear him say he's in a relationship with Ariane, but the thought of Melody performing these sexual acts as, um, Tasha called them out so vividly. You could just see how his soul burned at the thought of Melody doing these other things. Keep so, going. yep. So he just, you know, it was just really pretty disgusting how um, Tasha just refused to hold him accountable and she made excuses knowing that he wasn't telling the truth. But it just continued to show his obsession with Mel because he his soul literally burned at the thought of her being with other men. So just wanted to throw that out there. And thank you for having me. Thank you. We appreciate you coming up. All right. Dion, okay, so Dion's going to drop down. Soul T is going to come up. A Nirvana, Mojo, you're on standby. And then the bottom row, you're next. So Dion, I'm going to let you drop yourself down. We're going to bring up Soul T. <clears throat> hey, Queen Shiva. Welcome. Thank you. So my question is, because I didn't hear anybody go over this, but 
I remember when he said he went into the police station to go conduct some business. He had dropped off his oldest daughter to tennis and the kids was in the car and they was about to arrest him. And he told them his kids was in the car. It sounded like they was by themselves because he had to call his mother to come and get them. Isn't that like neglect? Well, they're old enough. It sounds Ooh, like babies. I think tank. I think he said, <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm sorry. I don't know how old the oldest. Oh, how how old is? I, I I don't know. Let me not talk about the laws and rules. How long you can leave a kid, a kid in a car? It sounds like it was the two little ones. They got four kids. So if Mariah was at tennis, there's mm-hmm. three other kids. Yeah, that's true. I was just wondering that. That's, that's a good question. Maybe we can Google it when you yeah. drop down and see what the laws are. Around that. Good night. Okay, thank you. Uh-huh. Hey, Nirvana, are you ready? I'm going to let Soul T drop down. Give you a second to click yourself out. Oops, hold on. Hey, Nirvana, welcome. Mojo, you're up next. Hello, Queen Sheba. Hey, welcome. Oh, my God. I'm so excited I got through. First of all, I know I only have 90 seconds, so I'm going to try to be quick. All right. I lo- love it. <laughs> I, I love, 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 love your channel. You are just so amazing. I, I'm so glad that I found you. I love the way I, I can't recite your intro as fluently as you do. <laughs> But I do love that you check in with the psychological (laughs) aspect of the Black experience. (laughs) Thank you. Um, Anyway, you know, I was, I'm I'm behind, right? I'm like at 30, what is it? 33 minutes left. I mean, like you still going, but I'm behind. I had to put my programming on the TV on hold to say this. One of the, uh, one of the lovely um, lights that uh, weighed in on what Melody should do with respect to leaving the show. I'm here to tell you, I've watched, I, I, I could not watch that video because I am a survivor of domestic violence. Uh, and I know narcissism up front and personal. And I get traumatized when I watch the likes of a Martell try to destroy Melody and his beautiful children because they will not be satisfied until they bring you down to their level. So kudos to Melody for flying above it. But I'm here to tell you, after listening to a lot of you great uh, vloggers, uh, Melody is safest on this show. She is safest. I really believe that she came to this reality series to impress upon Martel to clean up his act. And when he refused to do so, as heinous as he's been to her on the different episodes, I believe it would be much worse if she wasn't in the public eye. And so sadly, being on this broadcast is serving her to stay safe. That's what I believe after listening to quite a few of you commentators. Uh, Also, I believe that Tasha, $2 Tasha, now that you guys named her, I believe that she is doing akin to what you did in exposing Martell. She allowed, now I didn't see it, but like I said, I listened to a lot of you vloggers and based on, what I'm deducing, she gave him enough rope to hang himself. Now all of this is live. He's so stupid. He has told everything. He goes up in the court and uses charm on with the courts to keep control of those children. It's, he has just cost himself everything. And I do believe that $2 Tasha helped in that. Thank you so much for allowing me to bless 
your amazing platform with a few words. I'll drop down to give someone else space so you can get to bed before tomorrow. All right. <laughs> Thank you for coming up, A Nirvana. All right. A Nirvana is going to drop down. We got Mojo, <clears throat> Miss TC, Precious, Fathia, Wonderfully Made, and Sheena. I'm going to close out with Sheena. 90 second rule, you guys, because I know it's late on the East Coast. So I'm going to take Nirvana down. Mo Mojo, welcome to the stage. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Hopefully you can hear me. I just, and thank you for allowing me to speak. Um, I just, I just want to pretty much use, use your platform to um, say this, send a message to Carly and the own network. Just want to let them know that they're just as complicit, you know, in Martel's flight because for clicks and views, they are watching this man self-destruct while providing no have no accountability or intervention. And Martel is he's so angry that he caused the demise of his family that he's on this mission to expose and assassinate Mel's character that he preferred himself sabotaging himself and I think it's gonna it's gonna work in her favor in court. And that's pretty much all I have to say. That's a very powerful. I hope they're listening. Cause that's a word. And thank you for coming up, Mojo. All right. So we're gonna drop mo let Mojo drop down and bring up Miss T C. You're welcome. Good night, all good night. Miss T C precious, you're up next. But Thea, your device says you're not connected, so you may want to recycle, but I'll, oh, okay, you're good now. Okay. Miss TC, what Hello. are your thoughts? Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sorry for the technical difficulties before. Um, I'm going to make this quick. I thank everyone. I thank you, Queen Sheba, for being there for us and letting us get our opinions out. Um, I, I touched on this previously. I've spoken with you before about uh, Miss Marlene. And after I, I picked up on what he said about how he would and how resentful he is at his younger brother and how he has always tried to impress upon his mother, tried to impress his mother by giving her things and doing things for her to try to make her look better, even though she has shown his younger brother more love. And I agree that that put it together for me. I always knew there was something wrong with their dynamic. Their dynamic was not good. And that when he made that statement, it just brought everything home for me. And you are correct. Again, you nailed it. He resents Tank because he feels like he's, he's seeing himself all over again with how his mother treated him. And it all yep. starts in the home. Yep, 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 yep. I was going to go in, but I had to hold myself back. But thank you so much, Miss Cece. Thank you. Y'all have a great evening. You too. Good night. Good night. All right. Miss Cece is going to drop down. Precious, you're up next. Fathia, and then Wonderfully Made. And then my last three. <clears throat> Hello. Precious. Can you hear me? Can you hear yeah. me? Yep. What are you Hi, talking? good evening. Um, yeah, I have been following uh, Mel and Martell and the whole story. And um, I'm going to just say two things and get off here, here. Thank you for having a platform. But um, his kids will resent him. He's going to lose his kids. I'm not saying physically, but the love they have. He's going to lose them. No one is going, as, as a child, think about it. I mean, all the things he's been saying, anything you put online is there forever. These kids are going to, uh, I'm sure the oldest one's probably already paying attention to everything. The younger ones will also. And my biggest issue is, uh, no, I think Mel should stay on the show. It's her show. Hell, you're not running me for my show. So I think uh, Mel should stay on the show. But I have an issue with Kimmy. Tisha and Stormy. Any woman that supports Ma Martel is no woman. You don't have to like male, but we, we're women. You know, we, we're for what's right. It's not about liking her or being her friend. It's about seeing what a man is doing to a woman. And the fact that they are silent on it, 
I have nothing for them and none of us should either. So that's where I, that's how I feel about it. You standing on business, huh? I, I, on business. Now think about it. I mean, as a woman, it's not about, you don't have to be my friend, you know, but when I see a man doing a woman wrong and we always talk about, you know, be there for each other in that aspect, they're silent. They act like Martel has never done anything. And I have a problem with them. I have a problem with it. She said what she said. I Thank said you. what I said. You have a good evening. <laughs> I'll see you Saturday. Thank you. All right. So Precious is going to drop down. We got Fathia, Wonderfully Made, and then Sheena. After Sheena, we got Miss Debbie and Gen X. All right. Fathia, did I say that right? Yes, you did. You said my name correctly. Can you hear me properly? Yes. Look at me. Look at me. Thank you. Welcome. Oh, thank you. But by the way, can I firstly and foremost apologize? I didn't mean to come on live because you said my name and I was so impressed that you said it correctly that I thought it was my turn. Anyways, um, putting that to a side, um, there's a lot of love for you here in the UK. I wanted you to know that, Queen Sheba. Oh, wow. And I'm so grateful for your uh, platform. Thank you. Pardon? I I'm telling the audience that you came all the way from the UK. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know, I'm getting ready for work and I'm so impressed with myself that I caught this live. Basically, all I wanted to say was um, I couldn't stomach that interview. I think I watched about 14 minutes, six seconds, and I had to stop it. Um, I just couldn't believe that uh, a guy like Martel is given opportunities after opportunities, platforms after platforms. I mean, he's on a network and he's allowed to abuse and harass and mentally torture his ex-wife purely because of his own actions and he can't seem to deal with it. I think it's dangerous. I don't think this man should have any more airtime. He shouldn't be printed on anything. Um, he shouldn't be discussed on any platform. I think we should really, I don't believe in cancelling people, but he needs to be silenced and we need to show him that. That's all I wanted to say and I just wanted to send you a lot of love. Thank you. And I appreciate you pulling up and tapping in all the way from the UK as you get ready for work. We want to send you a lot of love. We pray that it's a dynamic day and you take the ball and you run with it at work, Queen, and do something nice for yourself this weekend. Okay, I will do. It's four o'clock in the morning here. So I've, I've got an hour before my shift starts. So um, thank you so much. Thank you. Have a, have, have okay. a good one. Okay, you too, Queen. Bye bye. Bye-bye. So Fatia is going to drop down. We got Wonderfully Made coming up. <clears throat> and then Sheena closing out with Ms. Debbie and Gen X. Welcome to the stage, Wonderfully Made. Hello. How are you? I'm good. I'm hanging in there. How are you? I'm good. This is my first time. I'm coming on because uh, I am a, a survivor of narcissistic abuse. As a matter of fact, I'm dealing with flying monkeys and hoovering and all of that right now, years later, they never stop. And I have been so emotional watching all of this unfold on television, live. And some people don't even get it. They don't even understand what the victims go through. It's very emotionally draining. Um, you spend the rest of your life fighting against somebody who you, who you, who you really trying to run away from, but they always come around hoovering, lying, manipulating you. They are obsessed. And today, after three years, I've, I had a run in with mine. He has been riding up and down my street, uh, just doing all kinds of things. They never stop. And I don't think that people understand what us victims go through. This is real. This is not Ray Ray and Pookie. This is a covert narcissist you're dealing with. And this is a whole nother level of evil that you have to deal with. I am a survivor myself. So I understand very well what male is going through. And I can't understand how women can co-sign for this joker. When I saw him sitting on Tasha K's couch, when you see one, you have seen them all. And it was very triggering for me. And that's all I had to have to say about that because I'm getting emotional and I know I got 90 seconds and thank you for having me come up. Um, and that's all I have to say. Well, we, we send you, we send you a lot of love and, and we, we you. send you a lot of <clears throat> positive thoughts. And I just want to leave this positive affirmation with you. One of power and peace. This too shall pass. 
Yes. Weapons may form, but they shall not prosper. Yes. Keep saying every time he drives his dusty ass by, point out the door. Weapons may form, but they will not prosper. I rebuke you. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Send him on his way. Yes. I stay in prayer. You have to stay prayed up because that's what they try to do. They try to get you to break. They try to get you to come down to their level on their playing field and get angry and lash out so they can have a reason to turn it against you and go to the authorities against you. They want to flip the script on you. They want to pull you down to that level. And so I have to stay in prayer all the time. And I'm, I commend the millimeters for standing behind me the way they are. I'm a millimeter myself. I just stay in the bushes. But this has been very triggering for me to watch her go through this. Well, we thank you and we appreciate you. While you cover mail and prayer, we'll make sure I'll, we cover you. Thank you so much. No problem. God bless you. You too. All right, so Wonderfully Made is going to drop down. Y'all make sure y'all send positive thoughts to her tonight. Whether you're a prayer, a meditator, just somebody that likes to sit in silence, send some positive thoughts her way. Sheena, welcome to the stage. Hi, Queen. How you doing? I want to put really quick. I believe that everybody misunderstood old Martel. Remember when she said to him, when he claimed Ariane as his woman, he only claimed her as his woman in the past tense when she when she called uh, Ariane Coleslaw. He said, we're not going to do that. That was my woman, okay? So he claimed her as his woman for past tense. When she asked him now, he told her that they're just make, like they're getting to know each other. Like they just now get into a relationship. He only called him his woman in the time that he was with Mel because he's still taking jabs at Mel. He still wants to hurt her. Like when he used to be on the show and he used to say those things he's always wanted Mel to hurt for the fact that he cheated you know what I'm saying he has a dagger in for her that was all that was he just wanted to put that dagger in that girl's back but Martel don't know he is really really doing himself a whole lot of damage and he needs to stop and that's all I'm gonna say and I like talking to you guys tonight I love listening to you Queen I'm gonna try to catch you on Saturday and I'll talk to you guys later okay Appreciate you, Sheena. <laughs> All righty, bye bye. All right, Sheena's dropping down. Miss Debbie, you're up next. Let's let Sheena go down. I, I got you, Sheena. I got you. All right. Morning. <laughs> Hello, Hi, Queen. Hi. Right. You up late with me tonight, huh? Always when I saw it, I had to come. Yes, I have to come into the palace. Come on, the I doors are open. <laughs> what I think is this. When one man tried for evil, God turned around for another's good. With that being said, I hope when Martel, when he sat there and said all that stuff about the children, someone was listening. I hope Mel get her children full custody when she goes to court. And I also hope that On and uh, Carlos King both saw what he said and what he's doing because he took his mask off. And the whole world saw what he really is. So now it's out there. I hope everybody see him for what he really is and make the appropriate, you know, to take the proper steps to do what they need to do to get him off the show and give her her children full custody. Because for what he said and the way he's acting, he's unhinged and he don't need to be around children right now. He needs to go get some help. You know, he's too obsessed and he's so envious. You know, he just don't need to be around people in society, not the way he is right now. So we see him for what he really is. And it's time for somebody to do something about him. And listen, the walls of Jericho have come tumbling down, y'all. It's only a matter of time. Everything around him. If you understand the art of warfare and what's going on, from a, from a level of, of, of principalities. So you ain't got to be a Christian to understand the art of war. It's principalities, right? The walls of Jericho are tumbling down around him. And mm -hmm. it's only a matter of time. Keep praying. Keep standing. I will, I, keep pushing keep pushing. And we'll keep holding her down. And thank you, Queen, for being there. You look so beautiful in Alabama. It was thank a you. joy to see you and Mayo dance. 
It was really nice. You looked awfully. You just gorgeous. And I really, I just had so much fun looking at the pictures of you. I really enjoyed it. Thank you for that. We and love thank you, you for having. We really do. <laughs> I love you too. And okay. thank you for having this platform. Did you go through all your coffee yet? No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm okay. saving that. I'm okay. saving that for a special occasion. Gotcha. So gotcha. you know, I can't wait. But thank you, and I love you. Thank you for having this platform for women. Absolutely. Thank you so much. And we love you. So, Ms. Well, I love you too. I love all of them. I love the palace and all the queens. I love women, period. And that's why I stand for male. And all of us women need to stand and unite. You know, when we see one going through something like this, help her. And each one, teach one and keep one. Thank you so much for having me. I love you, Queen Sheba. Have a good night. You too, Auntie Debbie. All right, y'all. Auntie <laughs> Debbie's right. dropping down and Gen X is uh, <clears throat> going to come up. And then we got Jamel, Miss Pia, and Shelly. Listen, y'all, it's way past my bedtime. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right. All right. Can you hear me, ma uh, Queen? Yes, ma'am. Uh, excellent. So what I wanted to say is that we realize, you know, we've talked about the timeline for uh, uh, Mel and Martell. And I don't, he's never seen this version of her. You know, he married her, of course, right out of out of college. Um, he hadn't even seen her operate as a professional woman. Uh, of course, she was googly-eyed for him. So, you know, um, I think that this surprises him. I think that no matter which way he moves, he feels like she's still going to lose either way it goes. Um, she doesn't need to leave her show because that's what he wants. Uh, he wants her to get into a tangle, a tank, a fight, or some kind of battle with the network because then it creates to me like this kind of similar thing with Mariah Hook. The bottom line is, is to me, this is a PR nightmare for OWN. This is a PR nightmare for Carlos King. He has yet to post anything or say anything. And to have that woman on stage with him this past weekend and then behave the way that he is behaving and still ignoring everything now is distasteful to me. As far as I'm concerned, the cast, in my opinion, should at least be saying we don't condone this. They're not saying anything. And as far as I'm concerned, if the show can't be put up under another entertainment company, I feel like it should. And I think the cast needs to be redone because at the end of the day, you don't have to like me, but my God, we have to stand on what's right. And if nobody is speaking against this and not standing on at least what is human decency and right with some children involved, then that's not, the, that's not black excellence. That's not excellence at all in my opinion. Amen. Well, thank you, Gen X, for standing on business. Period. <laughs> and she said what she said, and we will see you Saturday on I Said What I Said. You know I, I'm going to be there, Queen. All right, Gen X is going to drop down. We got Jamil Simmons coming to the stage. Welcome, Jamil. Gen X, I'm going to let you drop down. Jamil, are you there? You got to unmute yourself, and then I'm going to remove you, Gen X. So, Jamil, you want to hit your microphone to unmute yourself? And that's okay. If you can, I'll go to Miss Pia, who's next. And then Shelly is last. Okay, let me take Jamil down. I hope Jamil didn't fall asleep. I mean, she may have fallen asleep. Miss Pia, welcome. Hi, Queen. Hey. Um, really quick, I just, I haven't heard anybody talk about this. But what piqued my attention was when he was discussing about him talking to his mother about his bail. He didn't even know who bailed him out. Well, he knew who bailed him out, but he didn't want them to bail him out or something. Now, the way he said it was as if they were, they worked there and he said something about, um, he knows them very well and that uh, he was helping them with a show. Did you hear that part? Probably Belinda, he was helping her with a show. But no, these are the people at the precinct or the jail. So. What piqued my attention was, wow, so he That's must have legend. a relationship with these people. That's a legend. I spoke that. I don't know that to be true. 
when you said well, that. So let me clear that up. Let me be a good content creator. Allegedly, okay. that's what came to my head. Keep going. Allegedly, um, please listen again, because when he discussed getting out of jail, he didn't even know how much his bail was or anything because that person who works there got him out and he was singing it as if they were doing him a favor because he's helping them with a show. So he has a relationship with these people. So that got me wondering, they might, he might have got locked up last year when that stuff happened with him and Ariane and they probably looked out for him allegedly. But listen again, the way he talked about them at the jail that he okay. knows them very well and that he helping them with a show. Okay. Will do. All right. Take care. Thank you, Miss Pia. Have a good night's sleep. You too. Thanks. Okay. Shelly Grant, you're up next. Welcome. Shelly, mic check, one, two, three. If not, Shelly, mic Hello. check. There you go. Unmute yourself. Hit it one more time. There you go. Okay, can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much, um, Queen Sheba, for um, acknowledging me. Um, this is my first time. I'm like one of the other ladies. This is my first time actually participating. I'm normally in the bushes, but I wanted to let you know how much I really enjoy your channel. And um, the point that I wanted to make is, I don't know if you can remember maybe about two seat, two reunions ago, Melanie was having such a hard time. She was in the in her makeup room and she was having a breakdown. And her mom, Miss Van, says to her, Melanie, you're going to have to file for primary custody. And Melanie says, Mom, they're not going to give me primary custody. And I can remember Miss Van saying, I'm just going to pray. God is going to God is going to make a way for you to have your kids. And I really believe that everything that she's gone through, I really believe that God is really doing his work. And I think that God is going to make a way for Melody to have her kids. I really do. I feel like in the end of this, at the end of all of this, she's going to be able to get full custody of her kids. Amen. Amen. Okay, well, that's, I know it's getting late. I know you're not feeling well. Oh, yeah, thank I you appreciate so much. you coming up and just sharing that, your thoughts with us. Um, okay. <clears throat> I do remember that. So, yeah, thank you so much, Shelly. Okay, and good night. Look, from one H-Town girl to another. Hey, yeah, stand <laughs> up. Them yes, Texas girls yes. Something else, ain't we? Something else, honey. They're they not yeah. ready for us, I'm telling you. We will pop a trunk, <laughs> won't we? <laughs> oh, yes. And let me tell you, when Melanie was going to the left after he had provoked her and she had that back, I was like, girl, I know that's right. Because he had taken her too far. Yes, he but did. Thank you, so, thank you so much. I appreciate you and all your work. Thank you, you. you have a good night, Queen. You too. Bye-bye. All right. Thank you tonight to all of the panelists that came by and shared your thoughts. Thank you all for pulling up and tuning in. For those of you, if this is your first time, welcome to the palace. This is what we do all day, every day. We try to give a different perspective. Then we let you come on and stand on business. Um, on Saturday, I hope to see you all in Saturday's morning show, which is I said what I said, period, point blank. You have the floor to stand on business and say whatever it is that you need to get off your chest regarding hot topics, friends, family, relationships, whatever it is. It's never personal. There's only one rule. When you're done, you got to sign it, seal it, and deliver it by saying, I said what I said. And with that being said, I am going to shift over to my super chat, and then I am going to... All right, Palace, the Super Chat Squad is in the building. We appreciate you, baby. The Super Chats are fire. Get in your bag. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money, Erica Wallace, with a five-piece. That's enough to get a two-piece and five peppers, honey. We appreciate you for standing on business in the, um, in the palace. Thank you so much, Erica. The prophet is none one with a five-piece. She says, Funky said Martell tried to get him to do the interview with him, and he turned him down because he felt Martell is unhinged. Did he lie? <laughs> Did he lie? Okay, let's see. 
Jazzy J for live with a five piece. Okay, y'all just throwing these five pieces around like it ain't nobody's business. Jazzy J says, coleslaw and hotel is for real, for real, double slow. There's no way I would want to be on another woman's show. I don't want anything another woman had, has, has, period. And she said what she said. Get it. Get your own. That part I don't understand. I wish I would run up behind another woman at her job. Tell my, will y'all hire me? Y'all, that's deranged and crazy. I think some of you are looking at it like a show. It's your job. Imagine if you were married, your husband cheated on you, had a baby with this girl, and now she's coming up to your job to fill out an application for work. Y'all, <laughs> okay, if you don't get... Baby, okay, let me go. Peace, love, and prayers with a five P. She says, palace, when a person moves in silence, we don't know what has or has not been put in place. Prayers going up. Have bold faith. Have bold faith. I'm sorry. There are eyes on Martel. I believe so. And it's his fault. It's his fault. He did that to himself. Sister Sledge with a two-piece and a pepper, honey. She says, when we speak, not to give them ideas. So when you speak, you speak life, y'all. That's what she's saying. Speak life. Let's see. Julia Artis says, Queen Sheba, even though you're not feeling good, you still brought your A game. Thank you for doing a great job tonight. Always, always. They say be good or be good. What they say? Be good or be good at it? Always. I'm always coming 100% or I'm not coming at all. I, I almost pushed it back now because I wasn't sure if I could uh, <clears throat> deliver because we just had a um, behind the meeting. I mean, we have a behind the wall book club on Thursday nights. We're reading Atomic Habits. Let me tell you something. What we're creating is a village and we're about to get this money together. We are reading books that is going to inspire us and propel us to take off on a whole different level. I believe content creation is important, but I also believe in giving my subscribers and the, my members a bit of balance that's not toxic. So we behind the wall healing, making moves, and creating financial freedom for ourselves. With that being said, I thank you all for tuning in. Um, let me see if there's any other questions that I missed. Join us. That's right. Gen X says, join us. It's so good. Oh, today's conversation was mind blowing. Listen, check out Wednesday morning's conversation, y'all. Let me show you what we talked about. You know what? Never mind. There's a viral video that went on, and there was a young couple at a basketball game in courtside seats. Normally, at basketball games, you know, they have a kissing cam and things like that, fun little social games. Well, this time they had a person walking around with a little machine that was testing the clarity. And I, I don't know, y'all help me out. They were testing if the women's diamonds were real or not. So they got to this couple, they tested her diamond. Her diamond was fake. Ain't no denying that. You could just tell from the husband's face. It was fake. She was so embarrassed. She looked at him. She threw the diamond. She stormed off. When I tell you we had a hell of a debate and conversation with, if your husband, you found, you found out that when he got on his knees and he proposed to you and he gave you a fake ring, is that cause for divorce? Would you leave him? Yes, no. Would you be upset? Would you not be upset? And why? Go check that video out. That was Wednesday morning coffee talk. Y'all, that was a deep ass conversation. But with that being said, God bless you all. I am out of here. Good night.